Franzma, USA, pressure washer perfection. Hi everybody, this is the original Josh, today with Dirt Killer Krenzler USA, and we're gonna demonstrate the wet sandblasting attachment with our Krenzler Quadro 700 TST. So this attachment, it's a pretty cool device that you can use with any of the Krenzler machines. Um, it is a wet sandblasting attachment that will allow you to you know, clean old paint, rust, and uh, other types of material off of a variety of different substrates. You can use it for metal, stone, block, cement. All right, so we're going to use this with this machine to try it on a couple different surfaces. Now, it is important to make sure that you're wearing the proper PPE. We're gonna have safety glasses, a mask, as well as safety shoes. Uh, it can do a really great job of cleaning uh, material off of hard surfaces, but it's also going to make quite a mess, so be prepared. So as we get this set up, you're gonna take the extended barrel gun jet from, that you get with your Krenzler machine, and the sandblasting nozzle or sandblasting injector is going to connect directly to the 22 millimeter connector on your gun. Gives a pretty nice, uh, length of a lance for the distance that you're going to want to be from the surface while you're cleaning. So once you've assembled this part of the system, we have our pickup tube and the pickup hose right here. This pickup tube has uh, two different pieces of tubing attached to it. Uh, the larger tube is actually for siphoning the media. The smaller tube is to allow uh, air to draw up into the base of the pickup tube so that there isn't any clumping of your blasting media. So not included with the kit, you're going to need some sort of vessel for your blasting media. We're going to use this five gallon bucket. So you'll see a little bit later. This is where we're going to put our sand and then we're going to drop this into the sand in the bucket. So the other end of our pickup tube will connect to the hose barb on the side of the sand injector. So this comes with a uh, hose clamp that is a one style, one, uh, one time use crimp clamp. You can uh, pinch these little ears with a pair of dykes or uh, end nippers. You'll slide it onto the tube prior to putting on the hose barb so that you can uh, clamp it down so that it won't come off while you're moving back and forth with the cleaning operation. Now, this is a one time use clamp. Uh, we're going to use a worm gear clamp instead so that we can disassemble the, the unit once we're finished. But those are the, the uh, components that come with the attachment. So this sandblasting attachment, it's important to point out that the sand and blasting media are being drawn into the outbound stream of the gun jet spray. Uh, no sand is going through your pressure washer, so you don't have to worry about harming any of those components related to the pressure washer. And the nice thing about doing wet sandblasting is that in standard sandblasting uh, operations, you're gonna have a lot of uh, dust that's going to be built up, not just by the uh, material that you're blasting off, but also from the, the blasting media itself. Because it is using water to siphon that blasting media into the stream and create the impact, that is going to keep down on that uh, excess dust that you get from your uh, sandblasting uh, process. The attachment has a couple breathing holes here that allow the venturi to take place, but there's also this uh, black adjustment collar that allows you to increase and decrease the amount of media that's being picked up by the injector attachment. Um, additional uh, components that are inside, there is a small nozzle that is a uh, zero degree nozzle that's inside the injector that can be changed to uh, use with your particular machine, but this one's already sized for this, this unit that we're going to test it out with today. So, now that we get this all set up, we're going to head back to the shop and test it out on a couple things. See you there. All right, so now that we're in the shop, we have, we're going to get the machine set up in just a second. These are the two items that we're going to test out the wet sandblasting attachment on. On this metal ramp, we've got some flaking old paint as well as some rust that we're gonna hit, see how well it works on that. And then we have a paver here that has some gouge marks that we're going to remove and as well as some, some, you know, some efflorescence or some uh, salt coming out of the block. 
So we're going to test a couple different surfaces that we're gonna wet sandblast and show you how well it works on those particular surfaces. Okay, so here we have our Quadro 700 TST and uh, we've already hooked up the water to it. We've got it hooked up to power. I've installed the uh, wet sandblasting attachment to our gun, as we mentioned. Uh, I've also used the worm gear clamp to attach our pickup tube to the nozzle. One of the recommendations in the instructions points out that you want this to be facing up. The hose barb should be facing up so that when you're spraying, water is less likely to uh, get down into the pickup tube and cause sand to uh, basically get jammed up inside the pickup tube. Uh, as we mentioned before, we want to have our PPE, so personal protective equipment, don't forget your dust mask, safety glasses, uh, I recommend long pants and safety shoes. Um, so unless you want to get hurt, try to dress for the job. So we're going to get ready. As mentioned before, this is going to go into our sand bucket and uh, it's going to get loud, so get ready. So, wet sand blasting is not always a very clean job, uh, but we got some great results here. The uh, block's still wet, but can't feel any of the gouge marks that were in the cement block. Uh, it'll be easier to tell once this block dries. A uh, little bit easier to tell here on the ramp. This is cleaned down to bare metal. Uh, we could hit it a little bit more to get some of this rust off, but this is going to be ready to paint once we hit the entire thing. All right. So, like I said, the Krenzla wet sandblasting attachment can be used with any of the Krenzla model pressure washers. So, to learn more, visit KrenzlaUSA.com and discover pressure washer perfection. Krenzla USA. Pressure washer perfection.